Hello, and welcome to this, the first SpongeCast episode EpiSponge. I am your host, Sponge. I am called Sponge because that's what I am, a sponge. In case you're wondering what a SpongeCast is, it's basically a video stream or podcast as iPod I users like to call it sent to your email box or iTunes I or whatever you like to receive internet video on the only difference is the show is hosted by me sponge you may notice that I don't have any eyes yet I Shut up! What? What's going on? Well, I've been on to my producer to get me some eyes for ages. And he always says that they're just around the corner. I looked around the corner, but I didn't see them. Uh, That's probably because I don't have any eyes. Anyway, I may have my eyes by the next show. On to today's topic. Well, today I'm going to tell you how to make a time machine. Ooh. Well, it's really simple. All you need to do is find or build a wormhole. A tunnel connecting two different locations in space. Large wormholes might exist naturally in deep space, a relic of the Big Bang. Otherwise, we would have to make do with subatomic wormholes, either natural ones, which are thought to be winking in and out of existence all around us, or artificial ones, produced by particle accelerators. These small wormholes would have to be enlarged to useful size, perhaps using energy fields like those caused space to inflate shortly after the Big Bang. Two, stabilize the wormhole. An infusion of negative energy produced by quantum means such as the so-called Kashmir effect, Casimir effect even, would allow a single or object, a signal, signal, single, signal or object to pass safely through the wormhole. Negative energy counteracts the tendency of the wormhole to pinch off into a point of infinite or near infinite density. In other words, it prevents the wormhole from becoming a black hole. Next, tow the wormhole, a spaceship, presumably of highly advanced technology, would separate the mouths of the wormhole. One mouth might be positioned near the surface of a neutron star, an extremely dense star with a strong gravitational field. The intense gravity causes time to pass more slowly. Because time passes more quickly at the other wormhole mouth, the two mouths become separated, not only in space, but in time. There you have it. Really quite simple. Isn't it? Simple, really. I hope you enjoyed today's SpongeCast and found it very interesting. I hope you come back next week for another quick blast of all things science. If you want to contact me or you have any questions answered on next week's show, just drop me an email to spongecast at gmail.com. Thanks, and see you next time. Stop it! 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 Stop it!